What's good? What's good? It's Psycho Less. What up to my people's B Shine? My early, early influences was like 80s. That's when I was coming up. That's when all anything that had to do with the 80s, you know, Run DMC, Curtis Blow, Fat Boys, Saw and Pepper, all that shit, Rock Cams, all that. anything with the 80s, that's I was right there sucking it all in, just taking it all in. I know I love records and I loved um I love buying records, so what I do, I went and got a job at the, the, the most famous record store in, in Manhattan, which was um, Music Factory, it was on 42nd Street, it's not there no more. But, but in that store is where I met Biz Markey, I met Red Alert, I met Chuck Chillout, I met De La Soul, I met Keith, Keith Sweat, I met everybody. And I was just a kid, I was like 16, 17 years old. And, um, I met a lot of people through there and I bought a lot of records and that's how me and Bismarck start talking back and forth about records. And you know, hey, years later, boom, we're here and Bismarck still always remembers that. That's funny. I know Bismarck since 87. My first, my first equipment that I had, I, it, it, it was also my boy that used to work at the record store. His name was Lenny. One day I went to his house. He had a whole fucking studio in his house. So. I'm looking at this studio like, yo, what the fuck you doing with this studio? He's like, I ain't doing shit. That shit is just collecting dust. This nigga had an 808, had a, a 707, had a whole, had everything. So, so at the time, I, I didn't have no money. I had this fat dookie rope chain. It was real though, you know, 14K. I gave it to him, I traded him. He gave me the 808, he gave me the 707. And that's how I started doing my little production, my beats and shit. Two weeks later, they robbed the, the dude. They almost killed him at a, in, a, in the Bronx. They stuck him up for the shit. I mean, in the beginning, my mom wasn't, wasn't down for it, you know? She would always tell me, yo, go get a real job. The records ain't gonna amount to nothing. And I, kept, I just kept telling her, yeah, all right, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. And now, they, you know, it's, it, you know, they know what time it is and everything's love, you know? It's just rocking crowds, man, you know, just, I definitely, you know, you become more professional with it, and it's, it's 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 almost like nothing now. You know, where we're in the beginning, you'll be almost a little nervous or something, but now it's like you already know the music got your back, and that's it. You know, man, I'm just proud of working with everybody I've worked with, man. I'm, you know, I'm just proud and, and happy. I'm blessed, man, with with the music that I'm, I make. You know, that's all, man. After so many years, man. The only thing really that inspires me and keeps me doing this is digging in the crates, believe it or not, and just digging for new sounds and new, just new records, all kind of foreign shit. That's what really inspires me and keeps me moving and keeps me doing this shit forever. And that's, I guess I'll be doing this forever because it's, it's unlimited breaks out there, you know? Just remember beating us for the illest street beats, you know? Real hip hop niggas from New York, born and raised, in this bitch, you know, and, and we was, you know, we got that sound, that, that, that L shit.